que they have free candy. It'll give you energy for your routine. Candy. Give me some. What? Wearing white 
brown shorts. My duck period could not have come at a worse possible time. Please don't tell on me. Please don't tell on me. I just want my one wish to come true, and if they know what I really am, they're going to disqualify me. She's a oh. duck. Why a duck? Oh, low, down, dirty duck. Please don't turn me in. I'll give you anything. I'll piggyback fly you somewhere, or make you a really big omelet. <laughs> oh no. Oh, for the love of Dorothy, for Mary Joseph and Diego. I had been sold a 
bill of goods. <laughs> Realized no one was going to give me the life I wanted, so I had to create it. I had been plucking for a few months and got a job as a used car salesman. But then it hit me. If I'm going to pluck to pass, well, it's got to be something I can do with all these feathers. And if I'm passing and plucking, well, there's got to be others out there too. What are they doing with their down? And that's how Glam Baby Boa was born. <laughs> Those human babies have no idea the revolution they're funding with every Boa purchase. <laughs> with our dollars how we want the world to be. This time next spring, after my staff has been mentoring in Florida, I'll be implementing a new marketing campaign using cute young hands in our advertising, raise consciousness for duck acceptance. No more will we be considered a second-class species. You'll need a duck model? Mm -hmm. Yes, Max. Will you help me increase awareness and advocacy for all ducks and be the face of Glamour Baby Boas? Wow, Glamour Baby Boas. That's so, so glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I can help you, Mr. You see, if my wish comes true, then I won't exactly You see. won't be a duck anymore. I'd like to say I had a Wish the same thing, Madison, but that would just be a lie. Oh, I don't blame you. But I won't help you win either. And with all the suspicions being raised, well, I won't have to ask you to prove that you are a little girl. Mr. Arlen! No, Madison, nothing like that. No, this is an industry standard, given quite routinely at Blitz pageants. Just a few simple tasks that any real little girl should be able to perform correctly. Tasks? Oh, you know. Setting up an imaginary tea party, dressing up a dolly properly, throwing a ball poorly. It really could be anything. The board decides the tasks, and I have to administer the little lady verification. Wait, but I'm the only one who has to do this? What if I'm bad at, say, playing hopscotch, but I'm better than the other little girls. I'm a good little girl, but isn't my good girlness only relative to the good girlness of the other little girls? I thought of it that way. It's quite a thing. So the other contestants should have to prove their little girls too, right? Well, it does stand to reason. One day you'll be a mother plucker, Madison. So be a proud plucker. But not a word of this to the others. I won't deprive you of your right to compete. Contestants, I need all the contestants backstage immediately. Never 
Let's do commence. We only have a few more minutes until the real competition begins. Oh, let's see, I've never had to administer a little lady verification before. <laughs> Let me read. Yes. Five. This is unbelievable. For the cost of the entrance fees, plus the time to lose. And to, to be scrutinized in a manner so ugly, so fair, so fine, so proposal. No, no, I got this! Mm -hmm. Fine then. We'll start with you, Amy. Girls, come in a straight line. Now it says here that each girl must start by completing a curtsy. Andy, would you please show us your curtsy? <laughs> Madison, would you please show us your curtsy? <laughs> That's fine then. Destiny here, would you please show us your curtsy?
Very good. A way to think about my feelings when considering whether to eat or not. Very good little girl response. And finally, we have destiny. Destiny, would you like some cake? David Blaine, 
Oh, cool. 